Hello ladies and gentlemen, hope you are well. This is chemistry. In this lesson, we want to look at this question from 2017, GCE paper 2, okay, chemistry is paper 2, this is 5124 and it was question A4. The nucleide of an aluminium ion is written as, so we've been provided, we've been given the nucleide of an aluminium ion which is here. State the numbers of neutrons and electrons in the nucleide of the ion. Options we are provided, we have A, which is uh, under neutrons here, 27 electrons, 13, is that the correct answer? B, 14, 13, 14, 10, 27, 10. Which one do you think is the correct option? The question is coming from a topic called the atomic structure and the periodic table. So, well, to understand this question, first of all, you need to know what is happening here. So we have uh, this nucleide, uh, 13 here, and uh, this. Now, what does this mean? Okay, on the periodic table, when you go there, you'll be able to find this is the symbol for aluminium, AL. Okay, aluminium is under group 3. You'll be able to find aluminium there. Now, on the periodic table, those elements with two letters, the first letter should always be capital. The second letter should be a small letter. And those with the single letters as their symbols, that single letter should always be capital. Are we together on that? So this is the symbol. Then the top number here, this top number is what is called the mass number okay, of an element. That is the mass number. If you do not want to call it mass number, you can still say nucleon. Okay, nucleon number. So this is the nuclear number for aluminium. Then this bottom number here, this is called the proton number, okay? The other uh, way that you can use is atomic, okay? So it can be proton number or atomic number. Then the three plus that you're seeing here indicates the charge for this aluminium, okay? So, here we are told that aluminium, being a metal, should lose the three electrons. The positive here indicates no sign. So, it should be able to lose three electrons for it to be stable in the outermost shell. This is what you're seeing. Okay? So this is the understanding that we need to know. Now, when asked to define, if they ask you to define the mass number, what is the mass number or nuclear number? You should get it from the formula. Don't forget. So we are saying nucleon number, okay? Nucleon number is equal to the number of protons okay plus the number of nuclear neutrons rather okay neutrons so you should always remember this too nuclear number is always equal to the number of protons plus the number of neutrons in symbols, you can say nucleon here can be represented by Z is equal to number of protons P plus number of neutrons N. So don't forget this formula, okay? So if you want to define mass number, you can simply say this is the total number of protons and neutrons in an atom of an element. That is the mass number of nuclear number.
Having said this, we go back to the question. We need to know the neutrons, the number of neutrons, and the electrons. So we are going to start with the number of neutrons. Number of neutrons, which is n. When we make n subject to the formula here, it means P has to cross the equal sign. So I have Z minus C, P. Are you seeing that? So Z minus P should be equal to N. So Z minus P should be equal to N, where N is the number of neutrons. Z, now you go back to the new client. Z is the mass number, which is 27. So put 27 here, minus the proton number, it's this one here. So put 13 here. This will give us N. When we subtract 13 from 27, we are going to get 14. It's equal to N. So the number of neutrons is 14. You check the options, meaning A is not the correct answer. D is not the correct answer. We have B and C. Which one now? The difference is only the number of electrons. Here, we are saying uh, for aluminium to be stable, it has to lose three electrons. Now, where are these electrons coming from? The number of protons is equal to the number of um, electrons, right? So now, there are 13, and it should be able to lose three of them. Meaning, 13, and if it loses three, we are going to remain with what? 10. So, the number of electrons, in this case, will be 10. The correct answer is now C. You can see now that this is our correct answer. Right, so whenever you are given such kind of questions, think in these areas, in these angles. Very simple. Thank you for watching. Remember to share with your friends so that they are also able to learn chemistry in that manner. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Introductory Learning, or Evans Kalungan. Also follow me on Facebook, TikTok. Bye-bye.